The Eurocentrists hate images like this, particularly when the clearly black Negroid Moors are referred to as the sultans, the chiefs, the kings, the leaders, because they want to reduce the black presence of the Moorish rulership in Europe to that of slaves. They want to tell you that if there were black Moors, they were the slaves of the uh, Caucasian Moors, is what they would like to tell you. But they cannot explain the fact that the um, history has been clearly recorded. Here's a famous painting called Morris Chieftain on Horseback. It, it's, not, it's not a Moorish slave. This is a Morris Chieftain on Horseback, clearly a Negro. Here is a, another image. It is a very famous painting. It is called Morris Chief. And by the way, these uh, Orientalist paintings are extremely valuable. Morris Chief. This is a poster you could purchase for about $30 of this same image. It goes back to 1878 called Morris Chief. Here's an actual photograph of the Sultan of Zanzibar, also a, clearly a Moor. And this is what many of the Eurocentrists have a problem with. This image here is clearly of a Caucasian, but it is called the Beggar. You won. Here's a here's a uh, image. It is called the fiance of the sultan. Clearly a negro. Fiance of the sultan. And here is another image showing the black Moorish present using their technology and skills of craftsmanship. Here is a harm guard. It is called the harm guard. Another famous painting of a black Moorish negro. And here is the Ganada in a North African interior, also negroid as well. The former African Sultan photograph of the former African Sultan, also a Negro. There we have the uh, painting, which is actually called Execution Without Trial Under Moorish Kings. There you go. And here's another image. It is called Entering the Palace Gardens. This is showing the uh, re regality of the uh, black Moors who ruled. Here's a famous painting called The Bust of a Sheik. That is the sheik, clearly Negroid, and his uh, spouse. It's a famous painting called an Arab sage, an Arab sage. They want to take, uh, they they want to make the Moors white. They want to make the Arabs white. They want to make the Berbers white. But the fact of the matter is, Arabs, Berbers, and Moors were black, even though there were non-black Arabs, Berbers, and Moors as well. They want to ignore the black dominance of this era and and basically whitewash it. That's what they're trying to do. This is an Arab sage, wise man. This is an afternoon show. These were typical Moorish people doing what they do, entertaining themselves. This is an elegant chieftain in his palace. That's what this famous painting is referred to. An elegant chieftain in his palace. He's not the slave of a chief. This is the chief and this is his palace. And this man is clearly black. Here's another famous image. It is called a sultan with his tiger. A sultan, by definition, was an absolute ruler or despot. This man is clearly a black Negro from North Africa. This painting, again, is called a sultan with his tiger. These are the people who invaded Spain. These are the Moors who invaded and ruled Europe for over 700 years. Here's another image that goes back to the 1800s. It is called a royal procession of the Sultan Abd al-Aziz IV in Morocco. I showed you this picture earlier. Clearly, these are Negroes as well. This is a portrait of Said Khalifa bin Harib, a one-time Sultan of Zanzibar. Again, I showed you that before. This is the Sultan of Zanzibar. There he is. A European ambassador escorted by the Sultan's troops who are clearly black as well. We know about the technology that the Moors brought to Europe and here's an image of the skilled craftsmen who constructed much of the Moorish uh, architecture that is world-renowned. These are black men, the Moors. The favorite, there is the Caucasian who is a member of the harem of this particular black Moorish chieftain. Clearly this man is Negro, but they Eurocentrists want to make him Caucasian. As well as this one here, the Arab Prince. This is what this painting is called. 